Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet, and in this Cinema 4D quick tip, I want to talk about um, plugins in Cinema 4D R20. So we all know how plugins used to work. Uh, so I'm going to open up a uh, the Maxon folder, and here you can see that um, the the path is um, this PC C drive. Program Files, Maxon. Now I've got um, Cinema 4D R19 and R20 installed. And if we look inside the um, R19 folder, this is typically how plugins were handled. We've um, actually got a plugin folder in the root. And if I go in there, you can see all my plugins. But if we go back and actually look at um, R20, you'll notice now that there is no plugins folder. So you're probably thinking, well, where does it go? Does it um, does it go in the preferences? So if we go back to R20 and open Edit, Preferences, should take a minute just to think about what it's doing. There we go. Open Preferences folder, and you can see that there's a plugins folder there, so you can actually put plugins there. But you'll also notice inside uh, this preferences, there is a section here called plugins. And if we click on that, it's got a search path. So now R20 actually allows you to um, stipulate what the path is for your plugins, which is absolutely brilliant because it opens a lot of doors. It, it opens the door to possibly having a network location and lots of different people on different machines all point into the same network locations so you can share plugins. I haven't tested that yet, so I don't know the ins and outs of it or any of the problems associated with it, if any. Um, but I will uh, update you once I've had a look at that. But so as you can see, we've got, we can stipulate the path. So I actually liked the way it was, like R19, having this plugins folder there. So what I'm going to do is just copy this, go back to R20 and actually just create a folder. Plugins. There we go. And inside that, I'm going to test this by dumping a R20 compatible plugin there. Okay, so that's now in the plugins folder. I'm going to shut down Cinema 4D. And as you can see, there's there's nothing in the plugins uh, thing there, but we need to restart Cinema 4D. So let's do that. Now I'm just going to check in the plugins, and you can see that Reaper 2.0 has already been dragged in. So I didn't even have to go to Edit Preferences and then go to this plugins thing and actually um, stipulate the path. It's already detected it because it's in a folder called plugins in the root of Cinema 4D. So in this case, you don't even need to put a path. But if you have your plugin, say, on an external hard drive or a network location, you'd have to click this Add Folder button, and then you can um, go to one of your drives where your plugins are stored, stipulate that, press OK, restart Cinema 4D, and then your plugins will appear in this list. So that's just a quick tip um, going over the um, changes to the to the plugins in R20. For my viewers on YouTube, please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can check out content at digitalmeet.uk where you can filter my tutorials by category and vote in the poll for upcoming tutorials. You can also follow me on social media, links in the description and the footer of my website. If you'd like to help support Digital Meet, this can be done via Patreon or the support page on the website. But if you want to help Digital Meet keep going and bag yourself some extra in-depth tutorial content, the Prime membership is available for purchase in the store. This will grant you access to the Prime membership area of the website. I also have a second YouTube channel called Beef Doctor, which is a bit of a dumping ground for non-3D content and where I'm streaming games. There's a link in the description and the footer of digitalmeet.uk. I hope to see you guys in the chat. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.